Hello everyone and welcome to Wall Street Mojo. To know more about this video, private equity interview questions, the top 20, watch the video till the end and also if you're new to this channel then you can subscribe us by clicking the bell icon that's given below. Welcome everyone and today's topic is top 20 private equity interview questions and answers. Let's try and study these ones in a very detailed format. So private equity interview questions there are two kinds one is basics and another ones are the advanced questions let me give you a guide on how things work see every top-notch private equity firm divides the interview question into you can say two basic types okay the first question is for everybody it is to understood whether the person is really fit for the firm or not the second type of question is incredibly tough okay so these questions helps the interviewer sort out the best from the rest. So in this tutorial, we will take the top 20 private equity interview questions and answers of both the types and we and will guide you uh, to answer those questions rightly. Let's start with few of the questions. Let's understand them in a step by step approach. The first, why are you interested? in PE that is private equity and why are firm so this is general private equity interview question at a basic level the interviewer wants to understand how much passion and interest you have for the private equity so for the first questions you need to give a sort of a background of your work and or internships and you can tell the reason why you have chose chosen to come into private equity it will help to structure the answer before and so that you can answer it properly the second part of the question is all about why our firm so it is all about how much do you know about the about the firm and how your goals and the firm's goals are in alignment so to answer these questions you need to do your research prior to the interview and you need to tell them that what they already know about the company the types of the funds they are handling, the profit margins, the clientele, the growth plans and so on and so forth. Second sort of question will be asked to you something like this. What do you think this company does right compared to the other ones? And what do you think we do wrong? So it is a trick question. In private equity interview, you shouldn't fall for it. First of all, no company ever does anything that is wrong. So rather they have areas to improve upon. That is what you can say. So your answer should be very in that similar lines. Tell the interview about the strengths of the company. You can say those, those strengths of the company and what sort of deals it has closed. How it has added the value to its clientele. And however, don't talk about the improvement areas. Don't even try this. But however, make sure you don't talk about uh, in a negative way. Rather mention subtly about what it can improve upon, few things about and how it can improve. Third, why not work for hedge fund portfolio company? Well, this is a trick question in private equity interview because through these questions, the interviewer is trying to understand whether you have a real interest in private equity or you are your ultimate goal is to exit the private equity and join something else. Here your answer would be short and to the point. You tell all the pros of the private equity uh, company. Tell all the pros like work environment, greater peers, great fund management and all the cons of the hedge fund. High risk, huge uncertainty. And then they'll tell the interviewer why you are perfect for the private equity. Also, you can work on some different ways of doing things now the fourth question is how did you help your previous company so you can say uh, how how the previous company how did uh, you help your previous company in finding their values the right values well as a private equity professional you should be able to have a few solid example with you where you have helped the previous current company find value and it can be created operational you have created some operational efficiencies which has saved cost on the m a deal or it can be your research with the help of the company launch new service or product line so whatever you mention make sure it is something that you 
the, you have proof of or where you can have some specific numbers to illustrate what you are speaking let's go to the fifth one what makes a great private equity associate or research or deal maker well private equity firms wants three things first to find new recurring and better investment opportunities to make money and to save more money so as a private equity employee your job would be the same and you would answer these questions by telling something in the same line by finding new and regular opportunities to create value delivering on things and you should you would execute and save cost through the research and operational efficiencies question number 6 what industry trends you will look at when you are uh, looking at potential investments so in that particular scenario this is not exactly a technical private equity question but for a pe candidate like you it would be easier to answer these questions because here's what you should focus on while answering the question first is the market position and the competitive analysis you can write this so before lbo it's important to know the market positions and competitive advantage of the potential investment the characteristics would include things like high entry barriers strong customer relationships and high switching cost second is the stable and recurring cash flow so without continuous and stable cash flow no pe firm would buy an investment make sure that third multiple drivers to trigger growth this one is very crucial only one driver wouldn't uh, propel the company to an expansive stage more drivers better diversified growth strategies and better better execution would be essential for long term growth and last is the strong management so most of the companies in the industry should have strong management team so that the pe firm can get a strategic guidance towards better future so these are the keys that pe investor would look into at before thinking of an lbo other than this he would also look at changing habits of the customers enhance automations application of disruptive technologies and so on and so forth seventh if i would like to you can say protect my downside how would i structure the investment well the best way to protect the downside is to go for structural deal even at the later stage of the investment for example in 2010 teamsec invested in gmr energy through a structure paper which needs to be compulsorily converted into equity so they teamsec invested closely around 200 million in gmr through its fully owned subsidiary called claymore investment so this is how you can answer such questions now eighth did you look at your our website or what investments and second is the website part and why to answer these questions all you need to do is to research about the company before you ever go for the interview look at their websites find out about the investments and browse through every possible news about the firm and then analyze what you like and what you didn't like and then make a report which can tell them about your preference if you can explain a little and show them the report so they will understand that you have already done your homework and you are very much sincere about this job ninth they can ask you if you can look into only one financial statement what would it be and why this is a basic private equity interview question but it is asked often so most people choose uh, the income statement because of the accrual accounting method but the most important statement to analyze before anything is in cash flow statement because through cash flow statement only you can see the real picture of how much cash is coming in and how much is going out irrespective of hefty profits and revenues okay 10th question if you can choose the two financial statement what they will be and why this is a variation of the previous question okay but the answer to this question would be completely different the answer would be the balance sheet and the income statement if you have the beginning of the year and ending of the year values of all the items in the balance sheet along with income statement you can make a cash flow statement by yourself as simple as that 
Okay. Let's jump to the next question. Eleven. How would you verify the information in a deal book given by an investment banker? So to to answer these uh, question, uh, the private equity interview question, you need to have a prior experience in dealing with the investment bankers, or you should have asked someone who have dealt with an investment banker. See, usually. You need to make question framework to check the information uh, investment banker has mentioned in the deal book. Uh, there's a book called uh, by an author called Bill Snow writing for you. The author of the mergers and acquisition for dummies he has mentioned that you can begin to ask following questions to start reference check and letter if you need to dig deep. You you need to do as well. So you can the questions can be like this: Did they provide you the value that you paid that you paid for? Did they maintain the integrity? Very important. Did they uh, do what they said or they they would do? The next question is, did they attend all the meetings they say they would attend? Fourth, if the buyer has tried to retrade the deal, how the investment bankers have handled it? And fifth, without them, could you do it or not? Next, twelfth. How would you handle a situation where you have a question and no one has a answer? This is a private equity interview question which will test your emotional agility in an interview. When these questions is asked, your answer would be brief and to the point. You may say something like this: According to me, everything is figure outable. Let's say no one has an answer to the question. I have. Now, if we talk about no one, the first thing is who these people are. these people are generally the relatives peer groups friends family members but what if i can manage to ask a stranger or an expert so in this age of massive connectivity not getting an answer to a question is rarest thing remember this so 13th if your investment is increased by let's say 25% and now you have let's say 100 dollar how much did they begin begin with at your first place So it is simple. In private equity questions, and the interviewer wants to see how fast you can answer it. Okay, make sure you you don't fall in trap. So you can answer it by you know if there is a twenty five increase on the principal means twenty percent increase on the principal plus interest. So it means that you have started with bracket hundred minus another bracket hundred into twenty percent close the bracket. That's it. Just add an is equal to sign in. You have the answer as eighty. Okay, fourteen. What would you prefer, lump sum, one million, right now, or two thousand dollar every month for the rest of your life? See, this is a private equity interview question based on your time value of money. From the approach of the time value of money, two thousand dollar these month wouldn't be similar in the value of the next year. So the value of the money will reduce with time. So it's always better to receive million dollar right now and then getting two thousand per month for the rest of your life 15 they can ask you do you think that market for uh, mega uh, like you know mega cap is for lbo or mna is over so to answer these kind of private equity question you need to be thorough with the current events in your industry read up everything you can and ask your connections what news are there in the market and soak up your knowledge as much as you can so a time was there when the industry was ready with 100 billion dollar lbo deals but recently this is very infrequent events you can pick something and you have worked on before if you have ever worked on a mega cap fund and explain why that is not possibly as of now 16 what do you think or will happen to lbo or the mna markets in the next 10 years well this is another private equity inter question interview question which requires you to know about the current events if you want to get into the top notch form learning must be your best friend if you are boring through the material related to private equity lbo mna mega cap funds acquisition financial analysis you would know what to say to this question basically you need to give your point of view simple as that and if you can give an example why you are saying this or what you are saying it would separate you from the crowd 17 the mnc company have been struggling with the real estate what would you do to break it up or try re 
segmenting the business. See, you can explain the typical hypothetical private equity interview questions like this. You will get this. All you need to know for answering these questions is to be informed about any important recent event that has happened in the similar industry. As simple. 18. If you have a chance to go after a company, S, would you go after it and why? See, this is another typical hypothetical private equity question. If the interviewer is, is talking about company S, maybe that company is in the it's in the news. Remember this. The, the interview is just trying to test you somewhere or the other. So if you see these companies has a lot of debt and no possible advantage, of course, you should say no. If the company has decent financial statement, but there are few operational issues, you need, you need to explain how you would take up the challenge. 19. If you want to improve your IRR, what different levels, what different levers can be used? This is a technical private equity question. You will need to know exact answer. Here are some possible levers you can do is that you can increase the amount of debt in the deal and it will increase the leverage. You can reduce the purchase price that the private equity company has to pay to buy out. And you can increase the company growth rate to, uh, to enhance the operating income or a bit of the company. So this is how the RR can be, you can say, uh, improved. 20th, last. What you ever invest, would you ever invest in an airline company? If yes, why? And if not, why? The answer may vary from person to person. But airlines aren't very profitable on the surface level. To mention on a statistic point of view, US domestic airlines have reported negative in net income in 23 out of 31 years since deregulation. However, the passenger airlines have made some consistent growth over the years, around 4.9% per year in terms of aircraft and 3.6% in terms of aircraft seats. But even after all of this, an airline is a very risky investment and it is better not to get into it. So, in the final analysis, to crack the interview of a top-notch private equity firm is a very big thing. And you need to have a wide variety of knowledge in the financial industry, economics, mathematics, statistics, business management, current affairs, and various other subjects to be able to answer these questions. So, the idea is to know it all. And the above all 20 questions will help you to prepare the types of the private equity interview questions and you can expect to be asked in an interview. Prepare hard and all the very best for your interview. That's it for this particular topic. If you have learned and enjoyed watching this video, please like, comment and subscribe to our channel for all the latest updates.